Okay, let's get it going. Some sound. La 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 la. Hey, there's sound. All right. Uh, oh. Aha! <laughs> Here we are. Woodwind Solo Symphony Essentials Deep Dive. Short deep dive. I think. So, let's go for it. <clears throat> Woodwind Solo, immediately as we open it up, we find that we need to turn on the keyboard. Because <laughs> otherwise I'll have to play it like this. Which is one way of doing it, but... There we go. Now, uh, so what we're going to have to do then... Is is to restart the whole thing. All right, a few seconds. There we go. For the present, it uh, is on the bassoon essential, which is where it starts. All right. It's, there's this big dynamics knob in the middle, which controls intensity. You can control it with your mouse or a mod wheel. I like using the mod wheel. By default, it's at 50%, so... Let's get it somewhere, somewhere approximating 50%. We can add some vibrato. Somehow I feel like that's too much. Anyway, depending on what effect you get, you can do this tightness. Let's just do makes it tighter and now it doesn't sound so real so for me I'm leaving it right there so give it a softer tack here All right. and releases the room size second angle it keeps flipping out <clears throat> cutting in and out why are you doing that this is the day of technical difficulties for some reason <clears throat> Day to do it. <laughs> All right, come on now. We are here to look at instruments, not not flipping cameras. Okay. Nice, I like it with the vibrato. Decrescendo. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for solo instruments. That's all they do.
next we have the clarinet. <laughs> Both of these are reed instruments, by the way. Still wind, but have a reed in them. This has a more of a round sound. Add some vibrato. Change your room size. not how solo instruments play. They play more like what you get when you turn on the legato function. And if we do duet, you can play fifths apart, as we learned. But you can't do thirds like this. Oh, that fourth didn't work. Sometimes you might want to play like that. All right. And of course, it has all the articulations of the staccato. Crescendo. And the decrescendo. I like how it sounds on the soft part of the crescendo there. So I think we can get this with a dynamic snub. Sort of. Now, we'll go to the flute section. Oh, what? Well, first the contrabassoon. And that doesn't have any articulations. It's just... Now, some orchestral nerdiness. This is the lowest instrument in the orchestra. At least it was last time I knew. <laughs> Perhaps there's been a an invention that goes lower, but of course, for film scoring is where they start inventing a lot of times where they start inventing new instruments, um, and but I don't know if any of them go lower than the contrabassoon. So as we come over to the flute essential, we're going to try out the arpeggio feature.
Nice typical arpeggio. Let's try this with staccato. Huh? Oh. Can I turn it on every time you switch articulations? What? Oh, here. Huh? Maybe I was hitting the wrong key. Okay, that's a major. So let's try. Okay, and this is up and down. Uh, I'm going to just do up. Does it never stop? Let's see. Okay, this is cool. We can go down. Okay, so we gotta if we we gotta start up here. That's all the major keys. This is nice. As you can see, it runs out of range uh, pretty soon there. So, up, down. That's what we started on. Okay. Um, down, up. This will be interesting. I think we were on up down to start with. All right, so uh, let's try. Ooh, key. That'll be interesting. Very interesting. All right, so that's just repeating one note. All right, let's add a little vibrato. It's not usually a vibrato in a staccato. Um, okay, uh, rep. Seems to be the same as key. Um, trill. We could probably increase that speed. Be exhausting. Can you imagine? <laughs> okay, uh, one eighth. Mm, one sixteenth. Okay, uh, it's diminished. So we're going through all the chord types. We got major seventh. do it a certain number of times so if we say if say if we do it two times mm. okay I prefer run because it goes through the whole thing all right now um, one more let's try a uh, Minor seventh. Of course, be a C minor seventh. All right, so that's one way she can get it to play itself. Now, uh -huh. as is something I had not done before, which is the velocity sensitivity. Usually, I just like uh, what was that thing I did? Uh, Turn on the velocity sensitivity, it will uh, d 
distort the way a flute does. There you go. So it, it just it adds a, a touch of realism to it. All right. Another touch, I should say. It already sounds very much like your... I have a flute right there. Okay, next one, the oboe. Same idea, we got all the articulations. effects page which we've been over in previous um, symphony essentials has your your EQs your reverbs compressors and filter uh, all effects you can use so let's try an arpeggio so forth we've seen that I don't know that the elbow sounds as good doing that oh, let's put it back to eighth actually Oh, that's it. <laughs> Ran out of range. Okay. Um. What? <laughs> now, that that's just okay. I I don't know why it does that. Turns the arpeggio off when you go to the next articulation, but that's what they decided. Once again, we have our solo function, which will only let you play one note at a time. Let's bring the room down again. Okay. Uh, saxophone, also in the woodwinds, which is interesting because they had it in the brass section on um, session horns. And you can hear why. Well, that's cool. This is a crescendo, but every time you hit a, a note, it re triggers the. You could you could do a, do that and have a different sound. Okay, but I meant to hit staccato. Very trumpet like. like a
saxophone. And then we're back to, or we go to the quintet, which has all of them. And we can see all of them if we go to ensemble. So we have, but this does not have the saxophone in it, which is interesting. Okay, clarinet, bassoon, contrabassoon, oboe, flute. And you can see on the keys here where they overlap. So flute here. We got our oboes in the blue and the green is the clarinet. All right. Back to articulations. particular articulations for this other than our mod wheel or dynamics knob. <laughs> okay, and we can use these in, uh, I have used them. Let's go over here and hear this. Come on. Play. I can remember if I was using the sustain pedal in there or not. <laughs> Let's see, we can show that pedal. It's called the expression pedal. Because what I want to do is make this. Oh, I didn't play the whole thing. Let's play it. Maybe the full ensemble though. Yeah, it is. Okay. And and here we have the, the quintet, which is a bit smaller in sound. Let's unsolo that. So now let's let's look at so we have the flute down here and this got me thinking just going through these is that I didn't hmm. what was on oh, okay it was on these the flute patterns patterns let's just solo those play this earlier if I turn on velocity sense now
So then we add the solo flute. Now, let's see, we have the vibrato, let's put it on uh, about that much so that we can hear that. a little more forward in the mix. Because there's already there's already a bit of room sound even with it at zero. Okay, and if we mm. yeah, we just, uh, we'll put it about half because I want it closer. Mm. It's really hard to hit exactly fifty. There we go. Okay, add the flutes back. All right, this is a nice, happy little piece. Now, we added some other instruments like the bassoons, um, I think this was in the, yeah, it was a solo. <clears throat> and then we did something with the bassoon that uh, was different. We increased the dynamics over time. So, you can see the center knob moving. tense over time and then actually went up to a peak so let's play everything together why not
right. So this, as you may be able to tell, is a combination of all of the, the symphony essentials instruments that we've been through and one that we haven't been through, and that will be the subject of our next deep dive, and that is the percussion, uh, which had a little cameo right here with the drum roll. of the bass drum. So, next time, we'll be looking at percussion, but here's a little preview for you. Let me duplicate it. Now we go to the preview, which is that. Yeah, oh, I might turn it on. That's just <laughs> all kinds of goodies today, huh? All That's your preview, <laughs> and uh, next time, next time we'll we'll go a little bit more in depth and see how uh, see the different sounds in that set of percussion instruments. So let's get this right this time. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for joining me, and we'll. See you in the next one very soon.